As you make an Epicor Data Discovery Dashboard, you can create new views and then link these views through shared dimensions and cross filters. To do this, determine the filters and the dimensions the new views share. Within Epicor Data Discovery, add a dashboard by clicking the large plus button. On the new dashboard page, add a view by clicking the plus button in the upper right corner. You create new discovery views on the Select Component window. Click the plus button on this window. Now from the Select Data Source window, select the query that pulls the data you want. For this view, select Z Sales Order 01. Give this new view a name, like Sales Orders by Customer. Now add the columns, rows, and other items that determine what displays on this view. For instance, you might select Customer ID for the columns and then choose a count, like Count Order, for the rows. Change the visualization to a bar chart. Filter this view by Customer ID. Click and drag Customer ID to the filter pane. Click the back arrow next to New Dashboard. You return to the New Dashboard page. Click the plus button in the upper right to create the next view. Once again from the Select Component window, click the plus button. For this data source, select Z Sales Order Line and click OK. For this view's title, enter Sales Quantities by Customer. Define the rows and columns for this view. Click and drag the Customer ID dimension to the columns. Expand the Measures node. Click and drag the Order Quantity measure to the Rows box. Change the visualization to a bar chart. Now add the Customer ID dimension to the Filters pane. Select one of the views to display the dashboard's properties. From the Data Relationships node, notice the columns these two discovery views share. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and locate the Customer ID dimension. Click the pencil icon on this dimension. The dimension name is Customer ID. It relates to the Z Sales Order 01 query. Now from the Buy drop-down list, select the Cust ID option. Click Save. You've now set up a shared dimension between these two views. If you need, add more dimensions. Click the back arrow next to the New Dashboard text. For the new dashboard's name, enter Customer Sales Snapshot. On the title bar, click Done. This exits the edit mode. You've set up what you want to display on this dashboard. Click Save. Enter a description. Then for the Save folder, select the Shared option. This makes the dashboard available for all users in your company. Click Save. These custom views now link through the Customer ID cross filter. From the Filters pane, expand the Customer ID node. A list of Customer IDs display to only see the number of sales orders and total sales order quantities for a few customers, select the checkbox next to each ID. For example, if you select Addison, Barriston, Clark, and Dalton, the discovery views update to only show results for these selected customers.